Philip Schofield, who was spotted out and about with ITV royalty Declan Donnelly, seemed to be preparing for his comeback. The Sun was able to secure images of the two of them together in London following a four-hour supper at a nearby restaurant. Since Philip, 62, departed this morning in May of last year, it has been nearly a year. After acknowledging he had lied about his friendship with a much younger colleague, he resigned from the daytime program. Although they have been pressuring him to step back into the spotlight, the presenter's friends revealed to the publication that he is hesitant. The insider clarified that Ant and Deck, as well as Alison Hammond, are among Philip's ITV buddies who are supporting him. They declared, they have all been coming together for him, and their help, especially from Deck, who is such a wonderful friend, has been invaluable to Phil. Phil has been contacted by some TV executives regarding a potential comeback, and his friends have advised him to think about it, Phil is currently content to concentrate on starting over in his life with the help of his friends and family because he is still in shock from everything that occurred a year ago. He hasn't chosen whether to return either on TV or radio, but the opportunities are there should he choose to take them. His buddies have assured him that they will be there for him no matter what. This supper marks the first public appearance of Philip and Deck together since the This Morning incident. Phil was there with his puppy, while Deck was joined by his wife Alia Stahl. Observers said that the two appeared to be in a good mood and were seen talking and laughing together as though it were just another night out. Due to an alleged kidnapping plan, Holly Willoughby, Philip's co-host, departed the show in October after he did in May. After a rotation of guest presenters during the day, Ben Shepard and Kat Dealey formally took over the show in March, becoming its full-time hosts. Friends of the celebrity had stated back in March that after admitting to having an affair and then lying about it, Philip is, quite certain, he will never work again. Philip has been very, very down recently, one person stated. He is unsure about how he will return to work. He finds this realization to be terrible, but he also understands that there isn't much he can do about it. Who will take him is a mystery to him. He is aware that there is no possibility to return to the BBC or ITV. According to people close to the celebrity, acquaintances are attempting to persuade him that he can have a fulfilling life outside of the entertainment industry. One person stated, he doesn't have to stop enjoying life because he might not be on television again. But Phil isn't entirely certain. However, the celebrity has been projected for a position on national radio, which has been dubbed his first love. The biggest commercial stations in Britain are reportedly vying for his services in an attempt to lure him away from competitors like BBC Radio 2. In December, an ITV report disproved managers' accusations of a cover-up and omitted any more embarrassing information regarding Phil's relationship with a young showrunner. Industry sources stated that despite accusations of a whitewash, it gives the star a chance to sign a new, lucrative contract and start working again in 2024. Nevertheless, a prominent British broadcasting insider stated at the time that Phillips' return to television is unlikely, for now. Attention will move on now that ITV has drawn a line in the sand over the Schofield saga, he stated that in due course, Philip will have a chance to make a comeback, perhaps not on television just yet. But there are plenty of commercial radio opportunities where he will be given large sums of money to see his first love again that he has a second chance thanks to the KC's findings, but it won't come as a surprise to anyone that ITV is in the clear as it works to save this morning. He left this morning after disclosing to have dated a younger male co-worker in the past, nevertheless, neither man talked to Jane Mulcahy KC, whose report was released in December. Ms. Mulcahy concluded that the anonymous runner's move from this morning to loose women had nothing to do with Philip. She also asserted that just one individual who was interviewed knew about the affair but did not divulge their knowledge at time. Before joining the BBC, Philip worked as a teenager in local radio in New Zealand. He presented Going Live and had a popular show on Radio 1. It remains to be seen if the biggest radio stations in Britain, like Magic, Virgin, Heart, Classic FM, and others, will now swoop. Additionally, 
Greatest Hits Radio has been hiring like crazy, luring huge personalities like Simon Mayo and Ken Bruce to steal listeners away from Radio 2. The external report on Philip's affair with a younger colleague was denounced as a whitewash by enraged ITV staff members. One worker expressed their sheer bewilderment upon finding that just one junior colleague knew about the arrangement. The investigation concluded that ITV had not concealed the relationship and that the station's executives had made considerable efforts to find out in 2019, for years prior to the affair being public. According to the external review, up to Philip's own admission in May that he had been having the connection and had later lied about it, the channel was unable to locate the essential information. ITV executives have stated that up until the celebrity abruptly left the network and issued an official apology, both Philip and his long-term partner, who has remained anonymous, repeatedly denied reports of a romantic relationship. The report also stated that out of the 48 interviewees, only one, a junior employee, claimed to have known about the presenter's contact with the younger male former colleague prior to it being made public. According to Ms. Mulcahy, Philip declined to participate in the investigation of the events leading up to his departure due to the risk to his health. She continued by saying that she had been told the host's mental state has now gotten worse. Philip's ex-partner and co-worker also declined to be included in the report.